Hello, FlossTube. Welcome to episode 27. And uh, I guess it's been a little while since I released the latest video. And I apologize for that, but life is life. And at the moment, life's, uh, yeah, you know, B-I-T-C-H. So, so that's just that. I hope everyone is doing all right and thank you everyone for the great support uh the last time i was underneath 800 subscribers today we're over 800 and i promised a giveaway so it's gonna be a giveaway and i just want to give back to everyone who decides to subscribe and watch my videos and give me the support so thank you very, very much for sticking around and for, you know, for all the newcomers as well. Um, I haven't prepared this video at all. I just wanted to, to share my progress, do the giveaway, show you a little tiny haul. And hopefully I will see you next weekend when it's Halloween. But let's start with the progress i've been working on four uh, projects these last two three weeks and it is my deliciosa from heaven and earth and i've been working on my portrait of veronica the mirabilia and then i've also been working on my long dog uh, sampler the pandemic a little bit and uh, and my sampler from hands across the sea and uh, that's the Jane hearth uh, and now I don't remember the year but uh, let's start with the with the one I've worked on the least and that is um, my sampler and it's stitched on 40 count uh, using the soy doll share uh, silk threads very delicate very shiny threads and this is my progress and the colors are just very, so amazing I've done the flower this part here very simple stitching uh, but you can really tell it's a difference between silk threads and the dmc the cotton thread so yeah but i would work more than that i just worked an evening i think it was and i enjoy it it's not that it's just i enjoy my mirabilia and heaven and earth a little bit more and I'm trying not to have too many plans. I just want to go with what I'm feeling at the moment. And I'm also trying to keep the projects on a small amount. Uh, so what's next? Let's do the long dog. Uh, my daughter has started her dancing. And she's just dancing an hour now. But... And when I go there with her, I've decided to bring my long dog. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this clean, this white. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe I should uh, remove it from the snap actually. It's a lot of fabric to have in a place like where she goes dancing. But at the same time the long dog only uses one thread and I didn't feel like going back to the um, the, um, the ink circle I've been working on earlier this year so I don't know but if it's dirty I guess I can just wash it <coughs> so this is my progress let's see yeah like that so I've been stitching um, 
this part here. So you don't get too much done in an hour, but what the heck. And then I realized that um, I don't know why I saw it before, like the backstitching on the birds. Uh, I didn't notice it on the digital pattern. Um, so I went back to look at the, the PDF, um, what do you call that? Um, well, the original pattern before you put it into pattern keeper and I noticed that pattern keeper don't show the back stitching not that I know of anyway so I missed there's going to be some back stitching on these people here and I I had totally missed that so I will have to do that or I don't know maybe I should just save all the back stitching for last I don't know I usually like to do it as I go. And I have a very small Q-snap for that. I think this is like the six inch and it's way too small for the long dog. So I need to switch that out. And yeah, the long dog is stitched on 28 count. No, it's on 32 count. Uh, and I'm using the, um, uh, what's the name of that thread? Oh my God. Um, oh, the sulky threads. Yeah. And it's a variegated thread. So, so that's what I'm using. Then the um, the project project uh, the projects I'm working on a lot is my Mirabilia and my Heaven and Earth, and this time I've decided just to stick with the Heaven and Earth, Heaven and Earth, and I think you know I started that the Delicioso. Uh, um, on the soul stitch uh, retreat so that was like the end of september so i guess i've been working on it for like four weeks and i haven't stitched on anything else and it's nice to get a little bit of progress ex actually so this is how much i've done so far and when i keep it like this on a distance uh, it looks very nice you can see that it's the trees and here uh, it's the beginning of the, the fountain in the background. So it's going to look amazing. Uh, as I said before, the colors are a little bit dull, but as I say, when you take a step back, um, the detail is very beautiful. It's very nice. And I'm thinking since it's already, you know, uh, I've already come to the fountain. I think the detail in this picture is going to be great i mean i think the girl and the, and the dove and the fountain is going to take out uh, take so much space in the picture so yeah i think it's going to be pretty nice so that's what i've been working on and i'm stitching it on 25 count and it is i don't remember if it was sand uh it's not a white I decided to go with a darker fabric because um, you don't get uh, that much see-through. So I like that. I just grid the fabric with some fish line and that works for me. And the fabric is a lot softer than the 25 count, which I'm, which I usually like to stitch the heaven and earths on. So that's that and the heaven and earth uh, artist is called I think her name is Helen Beland or Helen Beland or something 
Beeline. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to the Mirabilia. Portrait of Veronica. I'm stitching it on 32 count. The call for color, which is like a lime green or something. And I'm just enjoying this way too much. It's very hard to stop the Mirabilia and go over to the heaven and earth. But when I, I start picking up the part threads on the heaven and earth, I'm like, oh yeah, no, I'm enjoying this a lot more. And then I'm like, well, now it's time to go over to <laughs> the mirror and I'm, oh, but I'm enjoying my heaven and earth. <coughs> but, um, so I like them both very, very much, but I don't know if I'm going to stop this now because I have finished the whole bottom of the dress. Yes, I've been working on her a lot and here on these parts here it's krennic and it's a little, i think you can see it's a little bit of glitter glitter <laughs> there are uh, threads that that are <laughs> more fun to stitch with but uh, the effect is very nice so i'm i'm very excited about this one and i really want to finish her so i can you know go to the next one <laughs> so we'll see it's sunday today i should should have worked on my heaven and earth today but i feel like mira so i don't know this is how veronica is gonna look like and if i'm not too tired of editing i will put in the pictures on the other designs as well so that's the progress and I get a lot more progress when I'm just working the same uh, designs, of course. And I do have uh, a lot of my Fridays off. So I am doing a lot of stitching on weekends. On the weekdays, I sit with my daughter a lot doing homework and working for hour, 40 hours weeks and then sitting three hours a day in homework. I'm just exhausted but i think we all go through that time so uh let's just uh continue well i will continue working on these four projects uh until i feel otherwise uh so that's the <laughs> that's the plans and um i received two um two what what did I receive? Ah, yes. Um, I received my lavender and lace pattern. I don't know if she's in plastic. A lavender and lace, and this is the in the arm in the arms of an angel, <coughs> and she's holding a baby there. And my plan is. Um, to change her hair color to mine. I have uh, that conversion somewhere. And I just loved uh, the color changes in her dress. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I got the beads for it as well. And I ordered it from one, two, three stitch. Yeah, I'm talking about orders. I know the Swedish customs are like, together with the mail office, very tough. And if you haven't declared <clears throat> the shipment in a right way, I guess that you don't provide enough information of the value and what's in it, um, it's stuck in customs for a very long time. Before, uh, the customs gave me the chance to declare what's in it and show like the order and what I've paid for it and what's in it. But they've stopped doing that now and they just return the package after it's been stuck in customs for a long time. And it happens twice now this summer. Uh, one package I ordered from Russia and it was stuck in customs like for two months and they just returned it 
Um, so I had to, like, I don't get the information or anything. I just have to get in contact with the seller and tell them, you know, you need to put the information on the package or else Sweden is not accepting packages from your country. And the people in Russia think, or like the sellers say that they provide all the information needed, but obviously it's not enough. So it's very frustrating. The other package was from the States. It was Be Stitch Me fabric I won in June and she just received it back. And I've been tracking this package and it has not never even, you know, been registered at the customs. So it's very, very, very annoying. So if you're watching and I buy something from you, please put all the information on the declaration. I mean, I'm fine with paying the fee for it. I know that I need to pay for tax and everything, but you know, they suspect that you're, um, what do you call that? When you're shipping stuff, you shouldn't be shipping between borders. And I'm like, well, it's cross stitching stuff. I think that's quite okay, but hey, they think it's something else. Uh, the other thing I bought was um, a Mirabilia pattern. And yeah, I, I'm not too much into Santa's, but I really like this one. It's pretty nice. It is very nice. I like that the Santa clothes has the same color as the uh, fabric, the background. And why I got this one now is <laughs> because, whoops, uh, the latest Mirabilia, I don't know the name, but it's on a lady uh, showing her back or something. I didn't like that very much. Uh, I didn't think there was enough detail for me to like it. I don't know. And then someone said, it seems that this is the one that is going out of print. So I was like, I need to order it right now. So that's what I did. It's a little bit cheaper to get a pattern than getting a whole kit from Hawkins. Yeah. So that's the only haul I have, but I made a really nice order <laughs> and I can't wait to get it. When I was at the Soul Stitch retreat, uh, I think, I don't know, did I mention, did I say that before? Now I'm confused. Now I don't remember what I've done from one week to another. But I know that Becca, you know, Stitchy Becca, Stitchy Becca, was talking with someone about the Chatelaines. And I, I think I remembered hearing that name before, but they told me, go check out that webpage. And I did, and I shouldn't have. <laughs> I know I've been in there before somewhere way back, but they're pretty, pretty expensive, these kits. But I was like, well, this is kind of my last chance. Well, I can save up the money, of course, but usually I'm like, I need to get it right. And now at this moment, I can't save. Oh, and well, uh, since I'm losing the payment I get as being for being, you know, a supervisor or a boss or whatever you call it, I'm going to lose that now when I go back to being a secretary. So I felt like I should just grab the opportunity now and order a kit. So I did. And the waiting is like five weeks. And I was like, well, that's fine. I'll be getting it, you know, for just before Christmas and I can spend all Christmas stitching on the Chatelaine and just enjoying myself. But since we're in this crazy, just, I don't know, very, very sad situation in the world. 
I've heard that you can wait at least three months to get the kids and that the woman putting the kids together uh, is also having trouble getting, you know, threads and fabric and beads and whatever. So I don't know when I'm going to get it. Um, and yeah, there are bigger problems in this world than getting a cross-stitch kit. Not just any cross-stitch kit, a chatelaine, okay? Yes, and I chose that my first one is going to be Poison Garden. I like the fact that I will find out which are the 12 most poisonous um, flowers in the world. And I'm so fascinated that there is actually a garden in, in the UK w with these poisonous flowers in it. I mean, seriously, is that true? I'm, I was like, what? I did not know this. I have to go to the UK and see these flowers. Yeah, I would like that. Um, yeah, and you heard that I said my first Chatelaine is going to be, so you know me. I think there's going to be a second and maybe a third, but I would like to, of course, I would like the whole kit at once, but since, you know, the cost and everything, I would like to try, you know, to, you know, since I'm not going to earn that much money later, saying that, and if I just totally fall in love with the Chatelaine, saying that, okay, I have these 10 Gloriana silks, which I need, and I have money for that, and I can order that, like, from 1, 2, 3, Stitch, whatever, and, and get them, and the next month, maybe... You know, oh, there are some dinky dyes or there are some DMCs. I, I can get that. And then one month I can get the bead pack maybe if I can't get hold of the beads myself. I think that would be quite okay. I mean, it's not like I don't have anything to stitch. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Um, so uh, we're coming to the end. Um by the way, I'm very proud of myself. Uh, when I don't feel very well, uh, I think a lot of women and men out there feel like this way. Uh, we um, comfort ourselves in food and ice cream and snacks or whatever. And I'm that kind of person. And yeah. Um, I'm really fighting to try, trying to get back to the one when I'm happy. And uh, one thing I do, and which makes me very, very, very happy, is running. And I think I've mentioned this before. And today, when it was raining and windy, and I love that kind of weather, I told my husband, I'm just going to go out and do some walking. That means walking and jogging. I'm going to do it. And yeah, I did. And I just loved every minute of it. And I feel so great afterwards. And it's so much easier to make better decisions afterwards. But anyway, I'm very proud of that. Okay, so uh, it's time for the giveaway. And uh, I said... When I hit 800, we're just going to uh, see if somebody will win a heaven and earth design pattern. Because if you didn't know, I love, 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 love heaven and earth. And I think that everyone should own at least one pattern of heaven and earth. And it's a very easy way to give back to the subscribers, my subscribers, and instead of, you know, the shipping and tracing and tracking and customs and whatever, it's very easy to give away heaven and earth patterns. And these patterns are just amazing. And you can get them in all kinds of different sizes, in all kinds of different difficulties and colors and designs. There's hundreds and thousands of them out there. You can get a small one like these. I I have here, they're pretty small. 
and you can get the big ones like which are this big <laughs> with 238 colors if you like yeah so if you're a subscriber if you're a more than 18. If you're under 18, just make sure you have your permission from your parents. What else? 18. Be a subscriber. Oh, and leave a comment. Okay. And in your comment, you need to use the word, word hate. H-A-E-D. As usual, you need to put that in the comment. And if you want to tell me something nice, that you have done or you have experienced or you have stitched whatever just tell me something nice that makes you happy and hate then you have entered for the giveaway don't say giveaway in the comments of course and i'm gonna check i'm gonna be kind of tough i don't like to do that but i'm gonna check if you're actually subscribing and if you haven't um if, if I can't see who you're subscribed to and then I won't be able to give you the giveaway and if you're well and if I can see who you're subscribing to and not subscribing to me well then you can't win the pattern uh, I just need to be fair to everyone so that's that and um, I'm hoping to get back next weekend when it's we when it's Halloween, and um, yeah, I think so because then we are gonna have this little giveaway. It's a Halloween ornament kit with threads and pearls and everything. So stay tuned for that. So I I seriously need to get back. I've lost him next weekend, and I'm just. out of things to say um so let's not make this video any longer than it is i will not edit too much i'm sorry let's stop talking let's get back to stitching thank you for watching have a nice day don't forget to put your comments down below saying h-a-e-d to win a heaven and earth pattern so take care until the next time Bye.